Hello again. In this video, I am going to show you um, and discussing some basics in um, the variable um, and the data variable in, the, in C language or C++ uh, programming language. And um, I need to show you a table here, as you can see, a variable type character for the first one here. Uh, it is, uh, takes uh, only one byte. One byte means uh, uh, 8 bit and the integer or unsigned here it has it, so there's a signed and unsigned character and there's integer uh, as well as the unsigned integer and uh, float and the, all these are types of uh, uh, of uh, variables I show you something what does it mean by integer here it takes two byte as you can see and take this range okay so as you can see, uh, uh, the integer, integer, it takes two bytes. Each byte is eight bit. So each byte is eight bit. So it takes two times eight, it takes sixteen bit. Okay, sixteen bit. So take uh, uh, so the value for the integer. As I said, there's some uh, there's kind called signed. Or unsigned, unsigned, unsigned. It takes uh, a positive only positive values, but signed it takes uh, negative and positive. Okay. So the range for uh, for integer. If I if I talk about the unsigned unsigned integer, it takes only the positive values. So it goes from zero until two to the power of sixteen minus one. So it will go to 2 to the power of 16. I use MATLAB for just a quick calculation here. Minus 1, 6, 5, 5, 35, I think something like that. Okay. As you can see here, we are talking about the unsigned integer, which is this one. 2 byte goes from this to this number. Okay. Here's the way. If we are talking about signed, signed integer signed integer means it takes both positive and negative so it goes from some negative number to positive number okay how we can find these uh, negative and positive numbers the integer takes uh, some negative number to positive number uh, the unsigned takes from zero to this positive number okay how to find this and is as we said it's just two byte it's just two byte means 16 bits okay so you take 2 to the power of 16 divided by 2 it's equal to 2 to the power of 16 divided by 2 3 6 3 32 32 7 6 8 7 6 8 so it goes this signed integer the range for this signed integer from minus 3 to 7 6 8 Two. Uh, don't forget because we have zero in the middle between the negative and positive so it goes to three two seven six I think seven yeah mm, yeah as you can see here so all of this calculation goes the same way okay it's very important uh, because when we deal with uh, programming in C language uh, sometimes you you don't need to use the um, uh, you don't need to use the unsigned you need to use signed integer you, you need to deal with negative and positive value as well uh, but some cases some uh, application in your program you need just to deal with the positive numbers for integer so keep in mind this uh, point it's very important point uh, in the introduction of variables uh, we okay Okay, now I need just to show you uh, an example for this. If we take unsigned integer, unsigned integer, which is uh, this one, takes two byte, as I said, and the range for this uh, from zero to uh, sixty-five thousand five three five hundred. Okay. By the way, this range it depends on the compiler. Some compiler uh, you need to see how the range. Uh, uh, it's different from compiler to compiler okay so but in general you just focus on this 
because we are talking for the unsigned integer so just take the positive numbers for example in this compiler if you define unsigned integer here unsigned integer variable which is x1 and we give it uh, 10 it's a positive number just click uh, run for this and you will see it will print this QDebug it's just like uh, C out and uh, printf in uh, C++ I am using just QT uh, framework here okay so it is 10 okay uh, if we just make comment for this and just open this one and just uh, stop the and click run it again you will find it will give you a wrong number because we are dealing with unsigned integer which is uh, just an, uh, a positive value because uh, minus 10 it exceeds the, the range so it give you a wrong answer here okay okay that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you next time